Hello and welcome to this new video. Um, today we're gonna talk about how to upgrade the Helio Spring FC. The first thing you gotta make sure is go to the homepage heliorc.com to the wiring um, page and scroll down and you find the latest butterfly, the latest beta flight firmware for the FC here on this page and also the latest butterfly configurator. To save the file, just go right click and go save as. So it comes up as a hex file. Just download it, save it, and you got the latest hex file. For the configurator, it's going to link you to a Dropbox folder with all the configurators available. So Windows uh, 64 bit, 32 bits, and all the Mac and Linux variants. So, yeah, next thing you're gonna do is um, open the configurator and plug in your quad. So my quad is already plugged in. Now what I will do is uh, open it. I go to CLI and I go diff. So I see all the changes I've made so I don't lose them. I will copy it, open my folder and yeah, save it. So now I got my config and won't lose it. Now I can disconnect the quad, wait until it reboots. Um, okay, now it's ready. I go to firmware flasher, load firmware local, and I select my um, firmware. I will flash this this one, and yeah, flash firmware. The quad should now automatically go to DFU mode. If it's not doing that, um, yeah, you need to fix your driver. You can use your Impulse RC driver fixer or you can use Zadig to have the, the correct driver for the DFU port. Yeah, the flashing will take a while as it's two CPUs and the firmware is quite a lot bigger than the, the normal uh, firmware we were used in the past. So just give it its time so it can flash the quad. Okay, now it's done. The FC will boot up. Just know that the Spring FC takes um, a little bit longer to boot as is our two CPUs and the those, the those CPUs must be in sync. So now you can connect again and your quad is, is ready. Now what you need to do at the moment at this point is you need to go to CLI and go emu f update. Um, this will be done automatically in the future, but just for now, uh, it's um, early March, you need to do it. Just press enter, the FC will disconnect, and now it will take a little while and we we'll just wait until the COM port shows up again. So, now it's done, your uh, FC is updated, the F3 is also updated due to the command emu f update, and what you can do now is just get your diff back in again, go save, wait until the quad reboots and now you have the latest firmware on it and if you have any done, done any changes you did not lose them. So if I go to my let's say OSD settings, my OSD is still there, um, my receivers are still there, my, my commands, my pits are still there. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just um, comment on the video or make sure to join the Slack. You can, invite, you can find your invite here at the normal homepage. Yeah, so happy flying. See you next time. Bye bye.